Therefore, I, Pat Quinn, Governor of the State of Illinois, do there hereby proclaim March 28, 2013, as Blue Waters Supercomputer Day in Illinois, and encourage everyone in the land of Lincoln to recognize the important role that innovation and technology plays in the future of our state. It's signed by Governor Quinn. We're having a celebration to mark the Blue Water supercomputer going into full production. It was installed last year, it's been fully operational for a while, but it was going through a testing phase. Blue Waters is a supercomputer here at the University of Illinois. It's one of the most powerful supercomputers anywhere in the world, and is the most powerful supercomputer that can be found on a university campus anywhere in the world. It's a supercomputer that can do quadrillions of calculations every second and can work with quadrillions of bytes of data. Uh, and when we, when we talk about quadrillions, that means thousands of trillions or millions of billions. So we're really talking about enormously huge numbers. So it's extremely powerful, very useful for a really wide array of science and engineering research. And, and that's what its purpose is. It's provided um, primarily by the National Science Foundation for science and engineering work. So that means studying hurricanes and tornadoes and chemistry and biology and astrophysics and subatomic physics and lots of other things that people will study over the next few years with the supercomputer. A supercomputer is typically um, built from a lot of smaller computer components. So the way that we uh, have created this Blue Water supercomputer is by combining a lot of processors. There are about 49,000 AMD processors, CPUs, like you have in your computer, uh, and also 3,000 NVIDIA GPUs, graphics processing units, that are used as accelerators to help speed up performance on a lot of different software. And the way it works is that people across the country who have access to the supercomputer um, they have a secure login and password. So all of these different researchers can just remotely access the supercomputer, use it to run their huge number of calculations, and then it produces data that they can analyze and, and get insights from for their work. I'm sure with the supercomputer and all of its applications, we're going to find many innovations and applications and opportunities for teachers here in our state and all over uh, the world, I imagine, uh, to find innovations and inventions that will make our world better.